the 9th of August is the birth anniversary of freedom fighter Sayyid Ahmadullah Qadri, who was born in 1909 in Hyderabad. Hailing from the house of Shamshullah Qadri, who was a famous writer, Sayyid was introduced to the literary circles at quite an early age. Sayyid Ahmadullah Qadri founded the famous newspaper Sultanat. Apart from that, he also wrote for two other newspapers called Paisa Akhbar and Tariq Publications. In 1946, Qadri was the first journalist of Hyderabad state to write in favor of one nation theory in Urdu news daily Sultanat. He decided to join politics and became a member of the Andhra Pradesh State Legislative Council and chairman of the Andhra Pradesh State Hajj Committee. Holding numerous pivotal positions throughout his life, Qadri decided to enter into the field of education. Appointed as the president of Lutfadola Oriental Research Institute, he made sure to contribute richly to the life of his students. Sayyid Ahmadullah Qadri was awarded the Padma Shri by the government of India in 1966. The noble soul breathed his last on the 5th of October 1985. We salute the great nationalist. 9th of August is the death anniversary of Trilokyanath Chakraborty. He was born in 1889 at Moimanshing in present-day Bangladesh. He joined the freedom struggle in 1906 as a boy of 7 years of age and became member of the Dhaka Anushilan Samiti. He was first arrested for his revolutionary activities in 1908 as a result of which he could not finish his education. He was arrested again in Calcutta in 1914. due to his active participation in revolutionary activities and was sent to Andaman for the Borishal case. Trilokyanath came back to Kolkata on the expiry of his sentence. There, he took charge of the national school. He was arrested again in 1927 and was sent to a prison in Burma where he remained for one year. After being released from the jail, he joined the Hindustan Republican Army. He participated in the Lahore Congress session of 1929. He was in jail again for 8 years from 1930 to 1938. After his release, he participated in the Quit India movement and was imprisoned in 1942. However, he was released from jail in 1946. After the creation of East Pakistan, he remained active in politics there. In 1970, he came to Delhi due to health issues. The noble soul breathed his last in Delhi on the 9th of August 1970. We remember freedom fighter Kamla Prasad Vishwakarma. He was a resident of Azamgarh, Uttar Pradesh. He took part in the Quit India movement at an age of only 9 years. He received bullet wounds in the police firing, but later he was arrested and sentenced to 6 months of rigorous imprisonment. Kamla Prasad Vishwakarma died in detention on the 9th of August 1942 on account of severe torture by the jail authorities. 